Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching full take first of all happy new year 2023 for all of you this is our last video of year 2022 nothing for one got another base custom rom called as evolution x by the developer jamal i was using the nothing was beta 1.5 everything was outstanding in that update except the battery life you can check that video from the i card before flashing the evolution x download these files boot image vendor boot image and full rom zip file Save them in one folder in the PC, on the desktop, or inside the Platform Tools folder. Your phone's bootloader must be unlocked and the USB debugging must be enabled. Your PC must have latest ADB and fastboot drivers installed. Before proceeding, please take the full backup of your phone. Now power off your phone. Long press volume down plus power button. Phone will boot to the fastboot mode. Connect it to the PC. So all the things are done here. Today in this video, we will see flashing process of this new ROM, what's new in this new ROM, its performance and the CPU throttling comparison with the old Ryzen ROM. Last I discussed some bugs and my final verdict. So watch the video till then. Now without further ado, let's get started. After connecting phone to the PC in a fast boot mode, go to the folder where you placed all the files. There open CMD window using the shift key of your keyboard plus right click of your mouse. Select the open command prompt here from the drop down menu. In the CMD type fast boot devices to confirm the device is connected or not. Now flash the boot image using the command fast boot flash boot and drag the boot image file and hit enter. To flash the vendor boot, type fast boot flash vendor underscore boot space, drag the file and hit enter. Now type fast boot reboot recovery, phone will boot to this recovery screen. In the recovery, now tap apply update, now select ADB side load, keep phone connected to the PC. Go to the CMD window again, there type ADB side load, drag the ROM zip file in the CMD, tap enter on your keyboard, you will see flashing of ROM started in the CMD window with the progress showing the 1, 2, 10, 30. So on, at the 47% it may stuck, but don't worry, it directly gets to the 100% and shows the 1x for notification in window. Means our flashing is done. In the recovery of your phone, tap back arrow key, now tap factory reset, now select format data, then tap reboot to the system. So everything is done here, phone started to boot into the new amazing boot animation of Evolution X. After completing the setup, phone booted to the stock Evolution X launcher with the stock wallpaper. Now let's jump to the about phone to check the details of the ROM. This is the same Android 13 based build with the Android 13 material clock easter egg. But the ROM is now fully synchronized with the latest Android 13 R16 sources. This Evolution X version is 7.4 call data. Kernel version is 5.4.210 builded with the latest Clang toolchain 14. Security patch is updated to the December 2022. Build date of ROM is 27 December 2022 and the maintainer of ROM is developer Jamal. Kernel of ROM is enforcing. Now it's time to check the performance of the ROM. Its initial impression is super smooth. Everything is just gliding on the fingertips. Actually in the real life users of all the custom ROMs I failed same performance. We can't differentiate between them. You never face any type of lag anywhere in the ROM. ROM continuously running on the 120Hz but when you use some applications like the camera, it goes down to the 60Hz, even though we enabled the force 120Hz in the setting. Now let's check out the numerical performance of the ROM using the Geekbench. For single core and the multi core, results is 590 and 2584 respectively. If you compare these results with the Rise.8.6, there I got the results of 800 and 2970. So Evolution X is too much lagging behind the Rise.8.6 in terms of the results. But in real world users, you can't feel the difference in the both the ROMs. If you check the device temperature after first test, it's ranging between 46 to 50 degrees Celsius for the different cores. When we did the Vulkan graphics API test, we got the score of 2372, while for the Rise.8.6, we got the score of 2358. So results are almost same for the GPU graphics test. So overall, though the ROM has a slightly low results in the Geekbench as compared to the other ROMs, still is performing very good. Now let's do the CPU throttling test and we will see if the ROM is performing good or not during the CPU intensity task. Before running the test, I check the CPU temperature, it's now ranging between 36 to 40 degrees Celsius for the different cores. 
Around the test on the 20th test with the CPU temperature display enabled. When I stopped the test after 5 minutes, we got the 91% of overall CPU throttling results, which is very good score. If we check the Rise.8.6 test results, there we got 74% and 88% on the two consecutive tests, so it's clear that Evolution X has the good CPU throttling capabilities as compared to the Rise.8.6. Temperature after test was risen from the 47 to 50 degrees Celsius. Now it's time to show you what's working. I will not waste the time showing with the basic things because everything is working like Wafa, Wafa hotspot, Bluetooth, GPS, NFC, 5G OLT networks. So we will only see the important features that most users ask me in the comment section. Call recording is available in the ROM and we will find the call records under the call log section. We will not find the recorded files in the file manager. Google photo application has the unlimited photo backup. SafetyNet is passing in the ROM so we can use the banking and the security related application on your device without any issues. ROM storage is encrypted so your data is safe even if your device got stolen. Vibration haptic feedbacks of the ROM are same like the stock ROM but still it's felt harder than the other custom ROM to me and there is no setting available to tune the vibration in the ROM. Now it comes the most important part that is camera. ROM has the fully working nothing camera application but still it has one feature not working. Everything is working like the slow motion, camera has the 4K 30fps, 180p 60fps, 720p recording working, but sadly 4K 60fps still not supported. Video stabilization is working, video recording has recording light setting, but it's not working, light didn't blink while recording. All the wide angle camera modes are working. Portrait mode is not working for the both the front and the back camera, it's causing forced close of camera application. Time lapse, panorama mode, macro mode, expert mode, all the modes are perfectly fine. For the portrait mode, you can use Google Gcam MGC build. There it's working for the both the front and the back camera. Except that we also get some other features in the Gcam like the night mode. Now let's check out the new features that are available in the Evolution X. We get all the different customizations available in the Evolver tab of the setting. We can check all the customizations in details from the iCard video. Now I will only check the important customizations here. Under the themes we get the advanced dark mode, here we get the use of custom themes option. Here clear theme gives the clear theme showing the currently running wallpaper as a background of your setting which looks cool. Other themes you can check on the screen. ROM has the edge lightning notification indicator on the AOD screen which is working good and it has the different levels of customizations. ROM comes with the different under display fingerprint icons and the animation. They are working very well without any lag in the animation, you can check them on the screen. Under the animation tab, you get the power menu animations. There are different power menu animations available here like the top, glow, turn, side, fly, etc. You can check its preview in the video. Now it comes very good feature that I didn't got in any of the custom ROM. Under the miscellaneous setting of the phone, you get the parallel space. Here we can add the multiple users and their multiple parallel applications. Here I created my own punks and the for you take profile. Here we get the, all the applications list under these profiles, they just enable the toggle for the application which you want to make it parallel application. Here I am using it for the Kotak Bank and the Zero Dakaid applications. These parallel applications are working without the issues even though they are secured applications. We can create the parallel application for any system or the stock apps. This feature is distinguishing this ROM from the other custom ROMs. Except this in the Michelin setting we get the game space smart pixel like advanced features. Some spoofing toggle settings are also available here like the unlock higher FPS for the games and the Netflix spoofing but they are just a placebo setting and they are not actually working. Music Pulse is available here and it's working very good on the always on display and on the navbar etc. In the Evolution X launcher setting who gets the toggle to enable the theme icon for the all the drawer applications. 
for the recent panel we get the screenshot lens and the clear all buttons along with the ram details here we will also get the taskbar toggle similar to the old taskbar that we seen in the old rom dock applications will be available at the bottom of all the applications in the rom we can open them in a split screen we can access the app drawer anywhere in the rom we can hide these taskbar by long pressing on the corners but now we get some new features like the shortcut setting when you long press on these applications so these are all the unique and the new features i found in the rom now it's time to check the bugs or the issues first one is the rom has the wide one l3 security level so we can't stream the netflix or the amazon prime applications at the full hd resolution under the lock screen customizations we get the media art cover blur setting but it's not working and this issue issues i found in the almost all the custom roms as rom comes with the new evolution x launcher which is replacement for the old pixel launcher so we didn't get some stock pixel rom features like the recent overview selection picture and the link tab shortcuts for the recent panel last five wallpaper access on the home screen of the launcher no pixel wallpaper in the styles and the wallpaper application all these features are missing which was available in the old roms rom has the glyph interface setting now rom supports the notification glyph along with the charging meter we also get the brightness slider for the controlling the brightness of the glyph but notifications glyph only blink for the right corner led other lights remains off another issue is that even if you turns off the glyph light still it blinks for the all the time for the all the notification except this issue i didn't found any other major drawbacks if you got anything then please mention in the comment section regarding the battery life i can't confirm anything because i just flashed this rom one day before so i will report the results with the battery stat why community post after two days until then if you think this video help you then please do like share subscribe press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye